on-the-scene coverage of ACC 2015 is supported by Effian. I'm Peter Block here in San Diego for On the Scene at ACC 2015. Standing next to me is David Newby, who's from Edinburgh. And David has just reported on a trial very similar to the PROMISE trial, a trial trying to figure out strategy for patients, but this time who have a diagnosis or at least have chest pain. Is that right, David? Yes. Sir. Tell me about this trial. Yeah, so what this trial was about was taking people who hadn't got a diagnosis, they came with chest pain, and they're coming to the cardiologist, and the cardiologist is trying to evaluate them and see whether they have chest pain or not and determine whether they have angina due to coronary heart disease. Okay, so this is sort of a strategy kind of trial, is that right? Trying to figure to out what the right strategy so is? In the UK, we t if patients that have acute chest pain go to the emergency department get hospitalised. In the clinic that we see these patients in, they're coming, do they have angina or not? And they get a, four, they get a standard uh, evaluation and they get a stress test, an ECG stress test in the clinic. And 95% of our patients had an ECG stress test there and then in the clinic. They make a diagnosis. And at the end of the clinic, we randomize them one-to-one -to, -one to get a CTCA or no CTCA, just standard care. Okay, so now that they're randomized, you've got two groups, one with a CTA, one without. What do you find? What's the difference between these two groups? Right, so the CTCA clarifies the diagnosis much more readily than standard care. One in four people, the diagnosis changed. One in six people had their investigations changed. And one in four people had their treatments changed. So that's really, that's an extraordinary change in strategy that is produced by the CTA. So I guess the question to you is, what's the take home uh, message that you're gonna send out to the folks at the end of this trial? So the take home message is, if you're not sure what's wrong with this patient, do a CTCA after the clinic. Don't use any other stress tests, go straight for a CTCA. But a lot of your pet folks also had stress tests, though, before they went to CTCA, yeah. didn't they? So the stress test we use, ECG stress test, is readily available there and then in the clinic. You don't have to send them away for another test. You can get that answer straight away. And it's a good functional test. You know whether they've got exertional chest pain or not. So it's really useful, but it's so simple and it's cheap, no radiation. So why not do it in everyone? It's what you do when you're not sure after you've done that, what you do next. And that's what the trial shows. Okay, so if I were to summarize this, I would say CTCA is a great diagnostic test. A lot of patients have a change in strategy afterwards. And if you do a stress test that helps you with the diagnosis, the CTCA will really pinpoint whether or not you need to go forward. Fair enough? That's right. One final thing I'd say, it halved the rate of fatal and non-fatal MI if you had a CTCA. Well, it also seems to do some good. Thank you very much, David. Okay.